Greetings, SGFO212 here, and today I want to continue on our little journey through COD Classic. If you will recall, we just went and destroyed the anti-aircraft battery at Breakwar Manor. So, let's continue on, shall we? First platoon, listen up. Sergeant Moody owes me 50 bucks because it looks like Operation Overlord was a success. Our British and Canadian friends took most of their objectives. And except for Omaha, all the beach landings went pretty smoothly. The airborne was misdropped everywhere, but the men formed mixed units and accomplished most of the airborne D-Day objectives. I am extremely proud of all of you. As you know, Sergeant Moody and Private Elder and Martin broke through German lines to get word to Battalion Headquarters. If it wasn't for their success, HQ probably would not have sent the reinforcements that helped us hold St. Marigli. At headquarters, Moody, Elder, and Martin were assigned to silence a German battery at Freycor Manor and faced an entire platoon of Germans with only a handful of men. Well, it seems that someone at command noticed your actions. Our unit has been detached from the rest of the 101st, but it can be used for some special missions behind enemy lines. I suggest that you brush up on your German, gentlemen, and enjoy your R&R &R while you can. Alrighty then. So, our unit of the 101st has been detached for special missions. And I assume that since we're in the Bavarian Alps, this is one of those special missions. Anyways, August 7th, 1944, the Bavarian Alps, Germany. It seems that a couple of British officers, a Captain Price and a Major Ingram, were shot down somewhere over enemy territory. I really don't know who these guys are, but they must be pretty important, or know something pretty important, because Army Intelligence has decided to parachute us into Austria to rescue them. Intelligence sources say the two officers are being held at a chateau in the Bavarian Alps. We've stolen the German truck, hidden it nearby, and are approaching the chateau on foot. So, looks like we have a important mission. Gotcha. Alrighty. Now they've given me the bar, and I love the bar in this. Uh oh. MG42's already spotted us. He's dead. Because the bar just has the most wonderful sound. actually feels very powerful. And uh, they got it right, because also, if you could tell, now I'm in slow auto instead of semi. And I'm still holding the trigger down, because the bar had two firing modes, a fast and slow auto. Alright. I love the bar. Bar is a wonderful thing. Also because it one-shots the stomach, <laughs> at least in the single player. Come on, one more. Got it. We always got our Thompson for close quarters. Let's keep going. These guys don't stand a chance. They've given me a bar. That's a terrible thing if you happen to be a German in the Bavarian Alps at this time. Get out of here. He had an STG. I actually might go see if that... Eh, it's not over here. Oh, hello. Always got a pre-fire where they get out of the car. Do it in H and G. Do it in COD Classic. Ah, oh, guys, if you want to play the grenade game, I'll go play the grenade game. Build old R 
AR-75, the flip machine. Got it, Foley. Come on, pick me. That's what I thought. This was always my favorite map in the entire game. Oh, I messed that up. Come on. Let's see if I can get this right this time. There we go. Aloha. He's dead. Alright, let's keep going. Upstairs. I hear boots. I also remember this map very, very fondly. So I know where they're all going to be, basically. I'm trying to hide it as much as I can, but I, I know how this... I know how this runs out. Go, go, go. This was always my absolute favorite map. One hundred percent favorite map. I'm talking single player, multiplayer. I played the hell out of this map. Just because they gave me the bar. Alright, so let's wait for number one. Hmm. Alrighty then. I, I'm I'm just insane apparently. Alright, we still got a bunch of mags. Oh hi! I've been twitchy all day, man. Well, basically if anyone's watching this, I've been very, very twitchy all day, so I'm being extremely aggressive at the moment. Where'd you go? Crap, they took down one of my guys. Alright. Aktonga! <laughs> Aktonga headshot! Oh, only 34 rounds left. Darn. Uh, let's see, they closed that door up there. I'll come back for it. I want I want to grab the STG, but I just love the bar way so way too much. Oh hi there. You can just hear him go, ah, in the distance. He's gonna come in after us. Move with well, your face paint itself. Let's swap to full and wait for this guy. He's, he's gonna take his sweet time moving in through the house. There he is. <laughs> Just because I wanted to grab that STG. Oh, that's a shame. I love this bar so much. Wonderful weapon. Very powerful. Very accurate. Very good sights. And it has the most amazing sound. If they could sit there and put that bar sound in Heroes and Generals, it'd be my favorite gun, hands down. Fight, 
Well, I mean, he was stuck between a rock and a hard place, or more technically, a assault rifle and a grenade. So. Th this is what I don't get. Why? Like, obviously, we have to rotate the bus. It's, it's big and shiny, but why would they have it so they're not even, and then you rotate it like this to, to open this little secret passageway here? Alright. Guys, ready? What, what do you think should I do? Should I use a grenade? Should I just full auto into the radios? You know what? Let's see... Kaboom. What were they doing back here? Quickly, someone tell me what this map means. Alright. Right, oh, on. thanks, Foley. <laughs> Kicks the door open, there's one German guy. I do remember that this this part of the map was a death sentence whenever I was playing through on the uh, on the what was it veteran I think is the hardest because the difficulty in this is actually rather well done. Uh, it starts off with recruit where you can basically just run at and run at a machine gun and then beat him to death with the butt end of your pistol, and then it goes to you know uh, normal which is what we're playing on right now where you know you can't sit there and run at machine guns. I mean. Let's see, you'll get two shot by rifles, and then uh, four or five shots if they hit you on the chest by submachine guns. Then you have the, what is it, hardened difficulty, and that's where you'll get one shot by rifles, and then three to four shot by automatics. Uh, and then you have veteran, and veteran, you're one shot by rifles, one to, two, uh, one to three shot by all automatics. Basically, if you run up against a German with an FG, you're instantly dead, because they'll one-shot you to the chest, and there's no health pack, so you basically have to flawless every single mission. I actually might do, uh... I actually might do a run-through of veteran difficulty. Look at this guy, he just sat there and... Give me that ammo, you don't need it. You're dead. I, I might save, like, a run-through veteran difficulty for, like, a live stream or something. That might be fun, don't you think? Well, goodness me, Americans! Americans! Also, yes, I realize that Captain Price. I realize that uh, Captain Price has now become like a figure. I think he was in a multiple, multiple other calls of duty, if you could call it that. I really want to pick this up, though. Like, I, I just want to pick it up and take it with me. That's that's the one thing I don't like is that you can't grab the MG42s. There's probably a mod out there that lets you, but. You know, I'm just sticking with it, uh, pure old COD classic. But this is where Captain Price is from. I realized that he was in, what was it, like, uh, Modern Warfare? I don't know, I only saw the trailer for the remaster thing because it keeps popping up on YouTube. So. Hello, uh. I just love this thing too much. I love this map. So. I love this map way too much. Alright. Let's keep her going. Get fired this guy's. Hold the trigger down. Smack you. There we go. He dead.
Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Checks up front, sir. Excellent. Help Captain Price out the window. He's been hurt. Alrighty. Apparently, we uh, need to go find Major Ingram now. Let's see. September 18th, 1944. Outside of Strasshof, Austria. It seems that the Germans moved Major Ingram of the British RAF before we could nab him from the chateau. Captain Price says he overheard the guards saying he'd been moved to a camp near here. Price pinpointed the camp for us, but Captain Foley insisted they stay behind during the actual rescue. Our plan is simple. We're busting right through the gate, grabbing the Major, and then hightailing it out of there. Foley says the only way we can pull this off is if we spend no more than ten minutes in the camp. Otherwise, the Jerrys are going to have the entire area locked down looking for us. Dulag 3A. Alrighty, I can do that. So let's see, ten minutes since the first shot. That seems like a pretty good position. So, that's an MG. I'm counting four. You know what? Let's go for the collateral, shall we? No, don't move, just a little bit more. Mmm, I, I don't want to collateral those guys, because I want to get this MG. But, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe if he'll make another move back here, I'll collateral him. Because they definitely haven't seen me yet. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Got him. Collateral. Flink. Got him. <sighs> There's the truck. Yeah, you got him. I, f I forget this is Call of Duty. You got to you got to no scope people, right? Can't no scope him, he's already dead. I don't know why I'm using this pistol on a perfectly good Thompson. There's a no scope. If you shoot them whenever they're doing that little, uh, grenade animation, they'll just pull it out of their pants, pull the pin, and then just sit there and die. And you can kill so many guys that have no idea that, you know, you'll be coming. Alright. have to do this fast so you have to you have to uh, kind of make it a wee bit quickly in your search for health get down red eyed oh he's dead very dead How, is this how the trick shotters do it? Just non stop jumping. It's also something I've enjoyed. Is, uh. 
COD Classic, it's, the sniper rifles are accurate whenever you're hip firing, and, and even just regular rifles. And that's that's something that I've also liked in you know Heroes and Journals as well, because typically people have sniper rifles stupidly inaccurate, and I never got that. <laughs> Throws a grenade three feet in front of him. It's it's like they're permanently suicidal. These guys. I don't know why I'm playing this uh, so aggressively with the sniper rifle. Maybe, may I am just twitchy from the day, probably. Get out of here. Alright. Oh, he's... Yep. Let's go. No, no, no time for handshakes and hello, slots. We got Jerry's to kill. I know that's the most atrocious English accent I can do, but or wherever he's from, that's oh, that's a collateral. Hello. Dead. I do. I I do find it kind of deplorable that you can't you know, jump on the benches. Now you can, but now I'm just looking like an idiot because I'm getting shot at. Oh, more of these idiots died. Grenade spamming Russians. Did I just get an accidental collateral, or did I collateral a friendly? Coming. La 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 la. I'm cheating. I know what's coming. They've even gone and textured all the insides of the barracks. Oh. This is also one of my favorite maps as well, this gulag. Alright. Well, we've captured the Major, and I think that this will actually might end us off in this part of the American campaign. Yes, it will. All right, with that, I'm going to call this episode uh, of COD Classic here. Next time, we'll finally be able to go and enjoy the Brits. So, anyways, as always, let me know how you liked it, or didn't. Or, you know, give me more quick scoping tips, because I'm not elite snooper. <laughs> anyways, SGFO212 signing off. Goodbye.